Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing a topic that has been the subject of much debate and speculation over the years. Is the black stone in Makkah a shivling? The black stone, also known as the Kaaba stone, is a cornerstone of the Kaaba, the holiest site in Islam. It is believed by many to be a meteorite and has been an object of reverence for centuries. But there have been claims that the black stone is actually a shivling, a sacred object in Hinduism associated with the god Shiva. The claim that the black stone is actually a shivling has been around for centuries, and is often cited as evidence of the ancient links between Hinduism and Islam. Those who make this claim point to the similarities in shape and appearance between the black stone and the shivling, as well as the fact that both are revered as sacred objects. Some have even gone as far as to claim that the Kaaba was originally a Hindu temple, and that the black stone was originally a shivling. The word Kaaba might have come from the Tamil language which originated around 1700 BC. In Tamil Nadu Kabalishwaran temple is Lord Shiva's temple and Kabali refers to Lord Shiva. The black stone at Kaaba is held sacred and holy in Islam and is called Hajre Aswad, from the Sanskrit word Sanghi Ashweta or non-white stone. The Shiva Lingam is also called Sanghi Ashweta. So what is in Kaaba could be the same what Hindus worship. The pedestal Makam A. Ibrahim at the center of the Kaaba is octagonal in shape. In Hinduism, the pedestal of Brahma the creator is also octagonal in shape. Muslim pilgrims visiting the Kaaba temple go around it seven times. In no other mosque does the circumambulation prevail. Hindus invariably circumambulate or production around their deities. This is yet another proof that the Kaaba shrine is a pre-Islamic. In Shiva temples Hindus always practice circumambulation or production. Just as in Hinduism, the custom of circumambulation by Muslim pilgrims around the entire Kaaba building seven times shows that the claim that in Islam they don't worship stones is not true. The King Vikramaditya inscription was found on a gold dish hung inside the Kaaba shrine in Makkah, proving beyond doubt that the Arabian Peninsula formed a part of his Indian empire. Reference, page 315 of a volume known as, Sayar ul Okul, treasured in the maktab e sultania library in Istanbul, Turkey. King Vikrama's preachers had succeeded in spreading the Vedic Hindu sacred scriptures in Arabia and Arabs were once followers of the Indian Vedic way of life. The annual fair known as OKAJ which used to be held every year around the Kaaba temple in Makkah and the present annual Hajj of the Muslims to the Kaaba is of earlier pre-Islamic congregation. Even to this day ancient Siva emblems can be seen. It is the Shiva stone that Muslim pilgrims reverently touch and kiss in the Kaaba. The Kaaba has 360 idols. Traditional accounts mention that one of the deities among the 360 destroyed when the place was stormed was that of Saturn, another was of the moon and yet another was one called Allah. That shows that in the Kaaba the Arabs worshipped the nine planets in pre-Islamic days. In India the practice of Navagraha, Puja, that is worship of the nine planets, is still in vogue. Two of these nine are Saturn and Moon. In India the crescent moon is always painted across the forehead of the Siva symbol. Since that symbol was associated with the Siva emblem in Kaaba it came to be grafted on the flag of Islam. The Hindu Vedic letter in Sanskrit, Om, if seen in a mirror one can see the Arabic number 786 and this is the most sacred number for Muslims and copies of the Arabic Quran have the mysterious figure 786 imprinted on them. This special number is nothing more than the holiest of Vedic symbols must read and none of the Arabic scholar has been able to determine how they chose 786 as the sacred for them. In short Muslims are also going around Siva Lingam at Kaaba, seven times as Hindus go around it seven times. A few miles away from Makkah are a big signboard which bars the entry of any non-Muslim into the area. This is a reminder of the days when the Kaaba was stormed and captured solely for the newly established faith of Islam. The object in barring entry of non-Muslims was obviously to prevent its recapture. Kaaba is clothed in a black shroud. This custom also originated from the days when it was thought necessary to discourage its recapture by camouflaging it. Another Hindu tradition associated with the Kaaba is that of the sacred stream Ganga, sacred waters of the Ganga's river. According to the Hindu tradition Ganga is also inseparable from the Shiva emblem as the crescent moon. Wherever there is a Siva emblem, Ganga must coexist. True to that association a sacred fount exists near the Kaaba. Its water is held sacred because it has been traditionally regarded as Ganga since pre-Islamic times. This is now known as Zam Zam water. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, please share it and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this.